session we will be learning about the capital turnover ratio or also known as activity ratio okay so what is the activity ratio activity ratios are also called as a turnover ratio or a performance ratios these ratios are employed to evaluate the efficiency with which the firm manages and utilizes its assets okay so these ratios usually indicate the frequency of sales with respect to the assets okay so these assets may be a capital asset or a working capital or a average inventory okay and these ratios are usually calculated with reference to the sales or cost of goods sold and and are expressed in terms of rate or times okay so time the number of times the sale is more than your assets that may be anything like your working capital or your capital assets or your current assets okay so capital ratio turnover ratio is also one of the activity ratio so capital turnover ratio is equal to sales upon capital employed okay so now sales you know the total sales for the year okay now what is a capital employed capital employed is equal to equity share capital plus reserves and surplus plus preference share capital plus your debentures and other long term loans then minus your miscellaneous expenditure and other losses that is your fictitious assets minus non trade investment so non trade investments are investments which are kept for the longer period of time to earn some extra income like capital gain dividend etc they are not kept for the purpose of the business okay so if your business is in trading trading your shares debentures then those investments are trade investments okay or if you are investing it in a subsidiary or a joint venture then even those investments are your trade investments but if there are some extra funds which are kept only for the purpose of earning some extra income not related to your business such investments are non trade investments the capital turnover ratio will show you okay how efficient we are using capital employed okay to generate the sales okay now we'll see one example of capital turnover ratio okay and calculate the capital turnover ratio so this is an example okay so in books of xyz company limited balance sheet as at 31st march 2017 then you have sources of fund in that you have owners fund 40000 equity shares at 10 each 4 lakh 10000 8% preference shares at 10 each 1 lakh reserves and surplus 3 lakh so total is 8 lakh then you have borrowed fund 10% secured from abc bank 1 lakh 10% secured debentures unsecured loans 1 lakh so total is 3 lakh then you have total sources of fund as 11 lakh okay then application of fund application of fund you have fixed assets in that you have gross block less accumulated depreciation net block okay so that comes to 3 lakh 50000 investment now when nothing is specified we will consider this as a non trade investments okay that is there was some extra fund which were kept in the longer long term investments not related to the business for purpose of earning some capital gains or dividend okay so we will consider this investments as non trade investment then you have current assets 
loans and advances in that you have inventory sundry data cash and bank balance loans and advances 1 lakh 1 lakh 50000 1 lakh 50000 1 lakh 75000 respectively so total of your current assets loans and advances is 5 lakh 25000 then less current liabilities and provisions you have sundry creditors and provision 2 lakh and 25000 so your net current asset comes to 3 lakh then profit and loss account debit balance is 1 lakh miscellaneous expenditure to the extent not return off is 50,000 so total application of fund comes to 11 lakh and sales during the year is 20,000 okay now we need to find out a capital turnover ratio so to find out a capital turnover ratio capital turnover ratio is equal to sales upon capital employed okay so sales we know that is 20 lakh now let's find out what is a capital employed okay so what is the formula for the capital employed we had seen it here right so what is it equity share capital plus reserves and surplus plus preference share capital plus debenture and other long term loan less miscellaneous expenditure and other losses less non-trade investments okay so equity share capital first so how much is the equity share capital here 4 lakh so capital employed is equal to equity share capital that is 4 lakh plus what is reserves and surplus how much is a reserves and surplus 3 lakh so plus 3 lakh plus you have preference share capital okay so how much is a preference share capital 1 lakh 10,008 percent preference shares of rupees 10 each so that comes to 1 lakh so 1 lakh plus plus how much is the debentures and other long term loan so how much is that see you have number 2 borrowed fund 10% secured from ABC bank plus 10% secured debentures plus unsecured loans okay when nothing is given even unsecured loan is a long term loan so total borrowed fund comes to 3 lakhs so plus 3 lakhs right plus now minus miscellaneous expenditure and other losses so let's see if there are some miscellaneous expenditure and other losses okay you have profit and loss account debit balance 1 lakh and 50,000 miscellaneous expenditure to the extent not return off so plus minus 1 lakh minus 50,000 okay then minus non-trade investment so investments given in application of fund minus 3 lakh so minus 3 lakhs minus 3 lakhs so all this comes to 6 lakh 50,000 so your capital turnover ratio is sales upon capital employed so sales is given here in the last line 20 lakh so that is a net sale that is sales minus return so your capital turnover ratio is equal to sales that is 20 lakhs divided by 6 lakh 50,000 okay so that comes to 3.076 okay so your capital employed is able to generate sales which is three times of the total capital employed so if you want to check the efficiency it is 
efficient enough okay so that is how the capital turnover ratio is calculated now what you need to do is to know the efficiency of the company you need to find out what is the capital turnover ratio of the industry as such that is what is the industrial standard okay so you have to compare this capital turnover ratio of the company with the industrial standard and accordingly you can compare what is the efficiency of your organization or the company so this was about a capital turnover ratio thank you